the first part of the particle analysis is the detection. So let's let's bring um, a studable from the file explorer. As always in mountain speep, when you want to apply a studies, um, you select your studables either directly on the document or from the workflow. You will find the particle analysis studies right here. You click on it. And then um, I recommend to pressing F11 for full screen mode. You have two main components here, the structures that was detected above and a table of uh, results below. To give more space to the first one, I recommend to placing this table on the right. And to do so, you right click and you show results on right side, which gives much better space, bigger space to the uh, detected particle. Um, on the right, the tables, there is three. there are three main components. The first one is the information. That's where you will um, find what the method of detection was used, uh, what was the threshold level in this case, number of particles, uh, you know, percentage of, of coverage, then the list of particles detected. Um, a number of parameters that are calculated. In this case, uh, they are the projected area and the Zmax. And finally, the last section uh, is a bit of statistics. In this case, uh, we calculate the mean of the projected area and the mean of the Zmax. There is an interactivity between the two. For instance, if I select this particular here, it will show you its uh, ID number on the table, and then you will um, be able to uh, read um, the values of the projected area, for instance. You can sort the particle uh, not by the ID number, but by the projected area, for instance. And again, you can select one here, but you can also select uh, one particle from the table, and then it will show you its place directly uh, in this view. You can double click uh, directly in the table um, to be able to add or remove additional parameters. For instance, if you want to calculate the volume, you simply do it like that uh, and you click on OK. There are a couple of sections uh, in the particle analysis tab. Um, for instance, by default, uh, the particle view here are um, in colored mode, which will be convenient when uh, we will be covering uh, the classification. But in the initial stage of, of particle analysis, I recommend to display um, the topography. Then you have the outline of the particle uh, overlay over the topography. If you are happy with the general layout of the study, meaning these settings here and the table of results on the right, you can save that as a, a preferences. And to do so, you click here, save as default settings. Any, uh, all of the other particle uh, study that you will be doing afterward will be displayed in the same way. Um, you can change the color palette uh, in the same way uh, that you will be doing it with the 2D, the 2D view or the 3D view. Um, you can interact with um, the cursors to enhance weak structures that could be uh, hidden in the background, like that. It's also important to mind the axis settings, especially when dealing with additional channels from AFM images, such as uh, um, phase, uh, addition forces, your modulus, and so on. There's a section here called layers. Um, we will show you later that you can calculate, you can detect features based not only on the topography, but on uh, all of the channels available uh, on your data. Particle detection, that's where you will select the method of detection and refine uh, the detection. Classification, uh, you will be able to sort um, a particle based on any number of parameters calculated or their combination. 
a very important here you can uh, select uh, the parameters so remember by either double clicking on the table or directly here you have um, the information um, you know what which particle to detect then you can also change uh, or add statistical parameters if you want to have a full description of all of the par parameters that we provide you press simply f1 then in the particle analysis section of the help you have a section here called parameters and all of the parameters that we provide are fully described and the help section tells you in which method they are uh, available Finally, there's an export session where you can export the list of results and, and we'll also be explaining later how to perform that task.